I'm never doing this again. Y'all, look at my hair. It's flourishing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I had it in that ponytail for a long time, so I did. I do see a little bit of damage from that ponytail. You can see it right here. You can see it right there. <laughs> but um, yeah, y'all just got done blow drying my hair. I'm actually about to section it off, party, do all that good stuff because today I plan on doing me some not with sprays point blank period um yeah i'm not about to pay another soul to do my hair i'm tired i'm tired of it we almost in a recession anyway and, and don't mind my appearance y'all because this is my i'm about to do my hair shirt and y'all know i don't be giving a damn for real for real Y'all want to know something, y'all? We came all the way out here to the country to get my nephew. Mind you, I got three braids in my head. One, two, three, four, five. Scratch that, I got five braids in my head. They having a whole barbecue out here. They having a whole cookout, whole barbecue, whole function. I don't think I told y'all why we came out here, but my nephew has family. Um, I don't want to say what part of Georgia, but it's like a, a country part of Georgia. And um, I thought we was just coming to get him. I didn't know it was a full-blown cookout. I didn't know it was a full-blown function going on. So I have completed five braids simply because I got aggravated in the middle of doing my hair because I'm like, damn, this was a bad idea. This was not a good decision to be doing my hair in the car. So I just stopped. I just stopped doing it and I, I, I proceeded to take a nap on the way here. But I shouldn't have did that because clearly I gotta go with half my hair did with this scarf on my head. And my auntie like, come on, come on, come on. Girl, if it was you, you wouldn't go up there. But then again, I'm, I've been thinking like, if I'm bold enough to get on camera like this, I should be bold enough to go to the cookout like this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna get out for a little bit, then I'm gonna come back in because I need to finish my hair up while the sun is up but i'm gonna just show y'all my little setup this is my mirror um that's the food we had earlier don't mind that this is the hair all the hair um tools and this is the view this is just what i've been doing just how i've been doing my hair just like this sitting right here at first i was sitting in the seat back here and i think that's what really had me down and out because my back was hurting and i'm like why did i decide to do this but then when i got down here you know, I'm like, oh, this wasn't such a bad idea, you know, in the first place. You know, it wasn't a terrible idea. And now y'all probably like, girl, why don't you just go home, stay at home and do your hair? And I was thinking that too. I'm not going to lie to you. I was thinking that too while I was sitting in that seat back here. I'm like, why did I just do this at home? Like, what made me decide to do this? You know? But it's okay. I wanted to come pick my nephew up and I got five braids and I'm about to go up here because it's like, it is what it is, I guess, you know? And if, like I said, if I'm bold enough to get on camera, shouldn't I be bold enough to go up there? Like, shouldn't I? Yeah. So I just wanted to update y'all pretty much on what was going on and why I was braiding my hair in the car in the first place. Okay, y'all, so I went up there and did my little... And now I'm back in the car because I'm... I'm, I'm about to finish my I'm about to finish my hair I mean business I'm never doing this again
so hot. I'm going to tell you what I'm about to do. <sighs> Such an innovative woman. It got to be 98 degrees out here. Boy, we had a time last night. I'm about to show y'all how I've been parting it. Parts are not the best because I've been parting my hair in a moving car. But you know what? It is what it is, okay? I'm not worried about it. First of all, I got this mirror right here sitting behind me. Boom. Then I got this little handheld mirror, which is what I'm using to see the mirror behind me. Oof, my parts are not the best. I should not even be telling y'all how I part my hair because I'm pretty sure y'all don't want to know. Um, yeah, the parts in the back are, you know, they need some help. Hold on, let me get a quick. I don't know what's going on, why it's taking them so long to come on, but I'm ready to go. I'm gonna call them and see what's going on. What's going on up there? Hello. What's going on up there? Oh, here. They talk to your auntie. You said what? You said what now? What's going on? Hello. Hey, I said what's going on up there? What's taking y'all so long? It's hot. It's hot. I don't know how it is up there, but it's hot. It's hot in this car. It's hot back here. Uh, Jesus. Ain't much talking in the world. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. So if y'all can't already tell, y'all probably can't because it's a lot of stuff getting lost in my hair right now. But I had already sectioned each section off and then just put a rubber band on it. So each, so I did one, two, three, I don't know, three. See, I can't, I don't even know, three four five six this gonna be the last one at the top it's gonna go like in a little bowl like in a little a little you i know y'all probably can't tell that right now because it's a lot going on you know it's just it, it just looks like a lost a lost cause it really does it don't even look sectioned it just look it just look together Oh, y'all, I didn't tell y'all my auntie came in handy. She got, she had a pillow in here. She ain't had no hat for me when it was time to go up there, but she had a pillow for me. So, these are my little, my little part. So, y'all, it is right before my phone died. 1.37 in the morning. It's crazy. You see that light flashing like that? You can only see it on the camera. Like, that's how you know they be watching us. But anyway. <clears throat> How confident am I to get on camera like this? This is a bad idea. I should have just stayed home today and did my hair. But, you know, we're here now. We're here now. I'm going to try to complete at least half of this next section before I go to sleep. Because I have a picnic tomorrow with my friends and I at least want to make it. Alright y'all, it's almost over. It is almost over. We got this one little, this piece right here. Okay, so now that I'm looking, I'm going to add more hair to this one. Because I don't know what I was thinking, it's not enough hair on this one. I'm gonna show y'all how I like make make sure it lay down for a long time, and like what the what products I use, pretty much, you know. Then I'm gonna close out this vlog, cause this wasn't really a tutorial, so don't be mad at me, y'all. This not really a tutorial. I'm still mastering the whole knotless thing. Um, I'm still like getting it together. I'm still learning new techniques, different things, 
you know even though I do have a couple of um tutorials up that was before I even knew like what to do for real I gotta stop doing that I gotta stop making tutorials before I master um master the skill at hand but I just be so excited to even make it look decent I'm like I'm about to do a tutorial but anyway I will come back and let y'all know what I use Woo! last break y'all last one This rack come in, like, comes in handy. I would never make the decision to braid my hair in the car again. Never. Yeah, I really made this impulsive decision like this because I'm so tired of waking up like 25, you know. I wake up ahead of time anyway, but I'm tired of like doing them ponytails and it's not good for your hair and on top of that you have to spend so much more time getting ready who got time for that i like to shake and bake baby i like to wake up wash my face brush my teeth you know what i'm saying put my clothes on do my edges get out the house i don't do i, I ain't even the type to like do no eyebrows every day or like that's just not me to do every day that's a lot so now we're gonna make everything look perfect and last for a long time. So I'm gonna tell y'all what you're gonna need. Maybe show y'all the braids. I'm gonna cut them after I dip them so they can be real even and cute. These are the braids. Pop it up, pop it up, pop it up. This is how long they are for right now. We're definitely going to be cutting. Definitely gonna be cutting them. So you actually gonna need some of this. I don't know what they, what do they call this? Y'all know the little, okay, Rapid Junior styling strips. You gonna need some of these. They got it in the white or the black, it don't matter. Do what you feel like you need to do for you. Some mousse. Oops. Some mousse. This is the kind that I'm using today. Okay. This is the kind of mousse I'm using today. Um, to respray. Some edge control. So first and foremost, we're gonna like go back in and retouch any any um, roots that kind of look like they need a little bit more um, edge control. Be careful because it can turn white, but I have a like I have a solution for that. We've done that. We're going to apply the mousse. Give it a little shake, 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 shake. This is actually my first time using. It this mousse in particular. I caught myself cleaning this mirror yesterday. Didn't do no good, so I don't worry about it. Start off up here. And the mousse is what kind of gets rid of the, um, the white cast of the Edge control because a lot of really all of it be turning white for me. So while that can't change just a little bit, we're going to do our edges. So I like the style factor. Some people don't like the edge control. I like to just pull out actual baby hair. Some people sometimes I pull out the adult hair. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But this for today, we're just gonna be pulling out the baby here. So now that our mousse has settled in, okay, so now we're gonna go in with the guy to be, and this is gonna make everything lay flat. Okay, so now that that's over. We're gonna take our wrap it up junior skirt and we're gonna place this over our edges. And then after we dip our ends, um, I'll show you y'all how I cut it. But it's really, really simple. All I do is 
well after I dip the ends I bring all the hair to the front like this after it's real straight because you know they kind of they kind of a little rough right now after they get real real straight and while the hair is still dripping wet I just take both ends and I just you know kind of gauge it I can already see where I'm gonna cut it I'm probably gonna cut it cut all this off right here all this probably go and just make everything even but yeah I'm gonna just let this settle as you can see this is starting to turn dark because it's wet but I'm about to um, tie up the rest of this with a scarf so that it can dry if you want to um, you could just kind of if you want to you could just kind of take your blow dryer and dry the roots of your hair but that's it for now y'all see y'all in a little bit or I'll show y'all how it looks when I get done 